Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I looked at the old map here and looking at all the places of the outside world thingies here, this level is the only one in Soda Jungle that seems to have any room for a secret exit. So I'm gonna take a look around here and see what I can find I suppose. So we got these rolling logs once again, but they very well could hide something. Like what I'm expecting is that they'll hide something in the middle of those things or whatnot. Or maybe I'm talking over something that I'm actually going to end up cutting out entirely because for what I might actually not find anything whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we are both going to find out if I cut this or you will not hear me talk over this at all because you know I'm gonna cut it out you're not gonna hear me what not oh oh yeah that's right there's this here but would this lead to something I was in here before I mean this led to a star coin of course but I, I, I'm kind of curious to see if there might be something a little bit higher per se since I have your squirrel suit like what if I went over here no I just cling to the wall Hmm, I was going to try and jump up there, but, ah, eh, whatever. It didn't seem to have any indication that there was anything over there. But anyway, yeah, okay, that was where I just was. And now, oh, wait, 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 what's that down there? Did I, oh, dang it, did I go in here before? Probably did, because that's a pretty obvious secret. Hmm, <laughs> well, hit point. Still haven't found anything. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, there's this acorn here, I suppose, but is that useful? Well, it is, but I'm just kind of randomly commentating here. I, I'm looking around for stuff. Like, maybe, just maybe, there's going to be, like, a block that's going to pop up somewhere else and it's going to lead me to a higher area, per se. No, I guess not. Hmm. Just gotta keep looking, I suppose. Uh, just kind of curious to see if there's. But then again, if I hit it from that side, a vine wouldn't have come out anyway. So that was bad, bad logic on my part there. Uh, what's that? That's a suspicious block. Ooh. Maybe this leads to something. Probably a bonus. Because there might, there might not be a secret exit here after all. Uh, well, there's something in here. Wait, what is, why is that little alcove there? Is that just like to give you a running jump or something? Um. <laughs> oh my god, there is actually a secret exit here. <laughs> I was expecting I would have to use my squirrel powers to get myself a little lift to get more coins on the way there, but so there is one here. The reason why I thought there might be a secret exit here is because, see there's a lot of room on the left side there for stuff to come out of? I didn't expect it would lead over there, oh my god. <laughs> like this is way, way, way out of the way. Now if you look down here, you'll notice that all the paths are pretty blocked off with stuff. So it doesn't look like there's anything here. You, like you'll see at the bottom of the screen, that's the uh, boundary of the world map. And those trees, you're not going to be able to cut through, obviously. So... I didn't find everything here. Let me... There might be something in here, but that was just the outside that I checked out. Um... What if this vine here that leads to the sky world doesn't lead to the actual sky world, but maybe it leads to a level on its own like the desert area led to that ice, and it did! Soda Jungle Para Beetle level, apparently. <laughs> oh wait, the Para Beetle level. That one destroyed me in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And I expect this one to do the same. Come on, take me up. Although these little ones are a lot bigger than the ones in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Maybe they rebalance them because they figured, yeah, these are way too hard to stay on. Oh wait, this is scrolling upwards. This is unexpected. Oh, 
god. <laughs> I'm glad I have this suit. Yes, I am abusing it too, by the way. <laughs> and the big ones, they apparently... No, 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 crappers. The big ones apparently can't hold your weight, but they can hold their own. I, I don't really get that. I mean, I would think that they would have a harder time flying because they're bigger in general. But that is apparently not the case. I mean, there was Roid Rage and uh, My Little Pony that was able to fly with those tiny wings, so that makes a lot of sense, I suppose. <laughs> okay, it doesn't make sense at all. It's just com cartoony, comedic effect. <laughs> just for the lulls. And how did I get that one off? Was it because I jumped on all those beetles? I don't know, I'm blind jumping! Ah, dang, ceiling. Well, not ceiling, it was the screen cut off. Well, that first star coin is pretty easy to get, and I don't like fuzzy beetle levels. Whoops. Fuzzy beetles destroy me. <laughs> Let's go indeed. So, I, I guess that secret exit that I found doesn't... I mean, in the secret exit I found in the ghost house a while back led to a secret level and not uh, to, the, like, a, a warp to another world like I thought it did. Mm, Okie dokie. So, yeah, I guess you do get a one-up once you jump on all of them in succession like that. This music is very bouncy and happy. I am not going to move from here. <laughs> Every time I move, I get screwed. Actually, I'm going to have to move eventually. And this one I probably have to use to lift myself up. The little the little ones seem to be able to bring... No, 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 no. Seem to be able to bring yourself up, but the, the big ones do not. Uh! Where are these star coins? I don't know, but I'm doing fairly well now. Commentating doesn't help, though, with my concentration. <laughs> um, power up. I'm gonna stay on this side, just in case there's a coin. Mm, I don't see one. Oh, there's one there. There's- OH MY GOD! Sumo Bell! Uh! Oh, I can't jump on you. <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> I was expecting to at least be able to bounce on it, but I guess it's too hot of a rocket. Oh, and wow, there was no midpoint there. That could be a problem. Um, <laughs> one more of these. Just to... Yeah. Perhaps I shouldn't be abusing the, uh, the powers of all my items, but I gotta use them up eventually, I suppose. <laughs> Why is there coins leading upwards from that, that big one there? That big one doesn't take you anywhere. <laughs> I don't care about the one-up. One-ups can suck dangly things at this point. <laughs> um, Alright, I just gotta get myself through it carefully. By the way, apparently these buzzy beetles or para-beetle shells are uh, musical. But I wouldn't recommend jumping on uh, beetles in real life, if you ask me. They don't seem very sturdy. <laughs> but I'm not sure how I'm going to get that um, coin, though, just yet. I think it, it might have been because I was lagging too far behind, and I just... I, I didn't wasn't able to, to touch the uh, para-beetle that was able to get that coin. <laughs> Well, that works, I suppose. But now I don't have my power up. That could be a problem. You know what? Take me up. Take me up above... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Get me... No, 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 no. <laughs> P-switch. Um... When should I hit you? I'm just gonna try hitting you now. Uh-oh. That's indicating where a bullet is coming, isn't it? <laughs> down, down, stay down. Oh, I gotta get forward. <laughs> this was a really good stage. Um, wait a second. Do you think that red pipe contains something? Hold on. What if I used you and got inside that red pipe? Is this possible? It is! Because I remember they did something like that in one of the secret worlds. Oh, I'm so glad I tried that! <laughs> that green pipe must have uh, led here or something then. And... Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah! Course clear! So I guess the the next world isn't going to be a, a split path again. It's not going to be to the Sky World, unless this is going to lead me to the Sky World. Oh, it is, actually. Well, I'm going to see... Oh, that's those are really nice little rainbow tiles there, by the way. Gives a nice, uh, colorful detail. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm going to go check out the next world. So there is a split path. I can either go to the Rock Candy Mines... Or meringue clouds. <laughs> so there's Kamek over there. I, I think that's Kamek. I'm pretty sure that's Kamek. Okie dokie. Uh, so now what I want to see on the map here is how, how they're listed in order. Okay, so it's rock candy mines, then the, the yeah, meringue clouds. So it's, yeah, okay, so what I want to do from here, oh, no, wait, no, I can actually warp over there. I, I, I sounded disappointed there because I thought I would have to walk there, but I forgot I can just use this to launch. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Yahoo, indeed. So, yeah, this is the world that I'm going to be starting in the next part. I'm going to end it off here because I found what I think is all the secret exits up to this point. I think. <laughs> no one told me about any secret exits in the um, ice world. No one told me any secret exits in the jungle. Those are just the ones that I found on my own, and I'm assuming that I got them all because I got all the star coins. I hope! <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to end off here. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next part. Oh, and once again, don't tell me where the secret exits are. Dang it. <laughs>